Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Roman City Sec Reporter. So what have we done today? I actually went on to the... I called them plebs houses, I guess, is what I was planning on doing. They turned out a little bit nicer. I mean, they're not... They, they are peasant houses. They, you know, you're like one room. Everybody does everything in one room and, and stuff like that type of houses. But actually, they kind of don't look too bad. They don't look... You know, they're not like made out of wood. I'm trying to go for a painted effect. Um, And I've also done a lot of the nature stuff, you know, replacing the trees. I mean, this looks a lot better than what's over here. I mean, if we have a look over here, I mean, there's nothing wrong with these trees. Like, these are uh, Lente Briergé's trees. But, I don't know. When you when you now go over here and stuff, it's a little bit more... I don't know, just nicer. It is a bit heavy around this point, but I don't know. So it's good. Like, these trees, I think, look really Roman and, like, the sparseness of these ones in this field do. Um, this is of course heavy because I'm just a bit nuts like that, but I do like nature and stuff like that, and it kind of made sense to have some of it here. Uh, I have amended this path a little bit, made tiny little changes to it, um, like stuff like this and a bit of mud that's coming down, just to try and like filter it in. I think it still needs more work. Um, I, I definitely think it needs more work, and just to try and all bring it all together and stuff. But the idea was that it's supposed to be like, you know, they've had to make a rocky part. Because of the, the seawater and stuff that's been eroding this, or, or the path, or whatever, it gets muddy or something. Um, anyway, we have got these two nice little houses. I actually quite like them. I really do. Um, we've got this little one here that's more of a, I don't like it all. Well, it's a bit more built upwards, I guess. <laughs> like, sticking out a bit. Um, and then we've got this one here, which is right on the river's edge. There we go, look at that. And I've done a lot of the nature stuff off camera as well, which I will go over and, and show you guys what I've done. Um, so, of course, I've made this little fence going around it. I really love this fence. Uh, so I've just done a low fence going around this uh, area. It just kind of like looked really nice after I've done it. Um, it just kind of like separated it off and said, you know, you know, this is fine because this is like not really owned by anyone. Whereas this is kind of a bit owned by these people maybe or, or something or... I don't know, but... Um, yeah, so this is more wild, and that's not as wild. That's why it's got a little bit more colour into it. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Tell me what you think, anyway. Um, yeah, so I've got this tiny little compound. I, I, I call it a compound. It's not really. It's just like a little area where we've got a couple houses. I only went with two houses. I could have gone for more, but I thought, well, two houses, a couple of people on the boats over th that, that go from here. Um, probably have a couple more houses on this side, because I was thinking about what to do with this part of it. And I was thinking, yeah, I might as well do some houses and stuff like that. As well, like, just little dot dotted around, just a couple of them. Not really too many that kind of could work in there, or could work in there, or could work here, and, and, and you know, stuff like that makes more sense to me anyway. Um, so that's why I've made a couple, just a few here, rather than a lot. But I think, um, land-wise, this turned out really good. I kept this hill in, because it actually just blocks the line of sight for these, like, completely. You can actually walk around, like, pretty much down here. You can see if you use like bushes and tree. Well, this is kind of semi on purpose. This bush was on purpose to actually block it. So um, I used this so that if you were walking from this villa, you wouldn't know that there's any houses there at all. And can you notice there's any houses there? No. No houses? No? See? So it's really cool for that. Um, and then when you actually come around here, you go, oh, wow. There's like a, like a, you know, this kind of opens up really nicely into the port. And I kind of want to keep this now. Um, like, you get a little bit of a view there, it's a little bit blocked, and then you go into here, and you see the whole view. And then, like, maybe if you turn around, you actually get to see these little houses. Maybe. Um, so yeah, let's give you a little tour. They are pretty overgrown. Put a little bird around as well. Let's do more of that in this entire series. Um, two materials that I actually used is the hardened stone clay. The two that we've got, uh, 172, colon 1, 172, colon 2. Didn't actually pick it up there. Um, what the idea of, of this was, what... It's like um, like a kind of like daub type thing, like clay material stuff that's then been painted. Um, and it's kind of like falling apart. And I've used the Mesa Biome uh, Red Stained Clay here. It's like that kind of like stripe. Very, very similar to what we've got over here on, on that villa. But not as nice. Like It's not as bright at all. It's more worn. And it looks like it's been just like roughly painted, but not really painted that well. That was the idea of that one, and I didn't do it for that one just to see what, what you guys think. Um, so yeah, inside, really, really small. Um, you know, it's, all got the, it's still got roof beams and stuff like that. Um, small little sitting area here. Damn it! There's always going to be one like that, isn't there? Now, that means that that's going to change something somewhere. That was that. Damn. See? 
that's what I wanted on the top, just one of those damn things. There we go. Let's see if that actually does anything. Yeah, it does. Well, that's fine. We'll leave that. Um, so a little sitting area, a couple of nets. This one is obviously a fisherman. They've got some fish as well, so they've got some carrots up there. On the table, tiny little, you know, it's a very muddy floor as well. Um, small little furnace type thing with a little, little window going in there. Uh, I haven't actually put any smoke on this because I didn't think that it was going to create that much smoke. This is more for light more than anything else. It's the only light source in the room. Uh, and then just two really, really small bunk beds made out of hay. So really simple, really basic. Uh, that's what you need. And also I look quite like the clothes up here. Uh, this is also one of the L's um, head decorations. Well, it's not L's. It's L's were uh, we call them L's, um, which you can get on the server. I think it's lettuce. I think you just do um, slash L's. Lettuce. And that's what you'll get there. That one. Yeah, you do get that one. So, um, yeah, it's a custom head command that we've got on the server for that. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, then the other house here. Uh, what we've got in here. This is a little bit different shape. Again, single room, but you come right in. You've got the little kitcheny part here. Some food. Uh, small little drawers and an onion. That's a that's an L's onion as well. So you can just do slash L's space onion. Uh, you can also do onion cut as well. Uh, a couple of little seats. Um, more nets and stuff. But they haven't got too much like in the way of nets. They've got a couple of spears and things like that. So they could be something else. And then there's that little bedroom in there, like this dark, dark corner. Where they've got a couple of bunk beds. Now this is something also I've been messing around with. Actually, I really like putting a barrel down, then using a pressure plate that has the uh, another metadata. And it looks like there's a little barrel because there's a little line on it. I don't know what you guys think about that. I really like it, and I'm actually going to start using that more because it looks like a lid that's um, you know not quite fitting or whatever. I don't know, I like it. There you go, that's the little houses. They, they're they pretty simple. Uh, I do like the mix. Really like the mix of those two. Um, I'm sure there's some other, other blocks I can actually use. So if you guys do know, please do tell me about them. Uh, the rooms are just completely screwed up, but it's, the majority of it is jungle wood instead with a little bit of the brick in. Whereas these are, you know, like brick with a bit of jungle. Um, that one over there is mostly brick. So I'm trying to make, you know, the jungle wood being... Same colour wise, same colour scheme, but it's made out of wood. And I've also tried to make it like slopey a bit more. Um, I've got a couple of the trapdoors in there. Some of them are just normal trapdoors. Some of them are the new weird trapdoors. I've just I just thrown them on it. I don't care what my items are. Uh, and that's actually a really good technique for this. Is just throw them on it. Um, there you go. We've got little windows and they can be closed. On the back of this one, I used a rope instead. So there you go. A little rope that holds it up. Um, and also like the little supports on this are all a bit random. They can like build up rather than anything else. Just got a little built up stuff. Uh, there is this little area here. I quite like this. I was, I was, when I built this, um, I saw that there was like a little natural part of the hill. So I just made a little path going down. A couple of little clothes on the side there. Also some water there. So they can actually, you know, grab some water um, from the little stream here. So it's a little stream. It's kind of a little stream, isn't it? Everything in this area seems to really live off the stream. It's quite cool. Um, and then, yeah, it, it can all go into this point. I really like it though. Um, a lot of the trees. Two of these trees are from a pack oh, from Planet Minecraft. I cannot remember the guy's name. Oh man, I cannot remember. I know this is Birch. It's these two here. This one here is not mine. And this one here is not mine. These two are Birch's from someone else's thing. I have changed little bits of it with just a couple of those. But that's pretty much it. Um, the rest of them are my trees that I've started to use as a pack. Well, I say a pack. Um, there's only seven trees in total out in this pack. I'm just going to expand it as we keep on going along. A lot of them like these type of cypress trees, but they kind of look piney as well. Some of them look really cypressy, like um, the one over on the hill there. I think it looks really quite cypressy, but I don't know. I haven't really seen the cypress tree because we don't really have them. Um, yeah, so typical kind of stuff, you know, terrain wise uh, on this. Uh, just shoving a ton of grass everywhere on every single block. Has pretty much got grass except for there. Um, and then just using the mask on that to put in a couple of these little bushes. Because I love these in Conquest. Uh, but then I found that the other one. Which I'll show you which one I mean. You might have been able to see it. You might not have been able to see it in the time lapse. I don't really know. This one didn't seem to fit. It just looked way too green. Um, so I ended up removing that completely. And actually that made it look a lot better straight away. Uh, just putting a couple of little flowers in and stuff, used the new um, mushroom block thing, uh, whatever it's called. Yeah, that thing that, that can make the tall grass thing. Um, 
I I love that thing. No, it's cool. Um, yeah, shoving that in pretty standard. Uh, this also looks really cool, I think. It's like crossroads, because you can like see the two... I didn't realise this. This was just by luck, but you can actually see the villa there. See the villa there. It's Well, just a little bit of it. It's quite nice. And then you get a section. This path is much nicer and smoother now as well. So that's looking all good. Um, got a little mushroom there, natural mushroom. Uh, this has got a bit more muddy on it uh, and, and stuff. I've made it a little bit muddier. I might have done it in the last episode. That might have been the last episode, actually. God, it's just crazy. Um... Yeah, putting in other stuff as well. Yeah, just lots of detail. It's just a lot of detail, to be honest. A lot of detail, a lot of enviro slabs, a lot of um, using the mushrooms on... There we go, like there. Mushroom there as well. Using those to just fill out the detail and just try and mess it up a little bit using the enviro slabs. Um, it was just looking a bit boring before uh, without the enviro slabs. I put a little bit in the uh, pond-wise, I guess. But not or, or pond weed wise. I haven't really done too much about it. I'm, I need to really go around. I think after I've done both banks, I'm then going to go into the water and just do it by hand. Uh, it's just a lot easier to do by hand. So yeah, and then you got all this part here. I've done this and made this detail as well. I really like this. I just really like this part here because something I don't know. It just looks cool. I need to do that with my Hobbit one because. This looks a lot better than what I did with my Hobbit one when I when I did the bit that's near the the river. So it just kind of like looks. Just cool. I just like it. Uh, and how it's still sort of got like little rocky bits in it and then it goes up to here and it's fine. It's like all green then. Um but down here it's got like a little bit of a mix and and feels a bit more foresty. <laughs> I think it's the right word. Um but yeah, that's really cool. Um so yeah, I'm really happy with about this. I think it it just works really well as a joining piece. Because that's that's one of the reasons I wanted to do it. One of the reasons was I wanted to try out these little houses. Um, and the other reason was because I needed some sort of like joining piece to see it, how it all kind of ties together. So now like my original villa, uh, the lavender farm, uh, the port as well, all of that seems to just be tied together a little bit better now with this path. Um, and yeah, it just looks really cool. And then I can... Uh, at some point, guys, I will be tutorialing both these houses. Uh, I will be tutorialing them in, in default, even with the crazy roofs. They will have that as like as that type of thing. Um, I do still need to put in some trees around here. That's like a more of an <laughs> off camera type of thing because uh, I've just stripped back all the trees really. Um, so I'm just going to keep on going and, and building a couple more into my my like tree pack for this uh, island and then remove them as we go. Right. So next episode, obviously, we got the the fort is going to be coming up at some point. I've also got now two different areas to do. Um, I've been looking at this, like this area here, and it just looks like it needs to somehow go across to there. <laughs> it just seems to flow across there. There's no like blocking of it. You know, like the path just goes down here. Look, it's right there. There's just a big gap. So I need, even need to fill like a big tree here. Um, or I need to make like some sort of little path that goes over to here. Uh, and then I had a good idea for this. Not this horrible mess of stuff. But having like more of a rock rock pools and stuff like that, maybe. So even having like rock pools and then that's where they would get mussels from. Because of course mussels are pretty cool. So it'd be like a, a tidal type thing. Um, we've got just like loads of rock pools, a little bit of sand and stuff. Um, and then this is going to become more of a natural cliff. Up to here possibly, I think. Um, so maybe I can do it for that, for that area. I'm not really too sure. This will be a beach. There will be a little beach here. But it needs to be protected. So we need to have... You know, definitely need to have some rocks coming up to here or something. Um, what else? Uh, and yeah, going up to there. And, you know, I am going to do a little thing up the top there. But then I was thinking, uh, actually, no, no. One of you guys commented. One of you guys commented something that was really cool. Olives. Um, obviously, Romans, olives, olive oil. I mean, Italians these days, olive oil. You know, it makes sense. It's quite a big thing. They used to, like, um, use olive oil to get... Um, all the bad oil stuff out of their skin. So, what I was thinking is a tiny little farm. Like, really, really small. But right here. Um, so, this path here, obviously, is going all the way up. You can kind of see where I've just been flattening terrain out. This actually is just mud at the minute. So, if we ignore all this. It's always more difficult. As soon as I start messing up stuff, the, the paths disappear. Um, there we go. So, there'll be like a path going up to there and, and stuff. 
what about if I turn this terrain here, this this flat, well, these, these hills, into, like, olive farms? And I just have a couple, of, like, olive trees around and uh, stuff like that. That's what I was thinking of doing. And a really, really small house, like, maybe, like, here or something. Or, yeah, actually, that's going to be the right place. So a really, really small house. Kind of a little bit bigger than those ones, but not, like, villa-sized. Because it's just a small farm rather than it being a, a big farm. Have a couple of olive trees and, uh, yeah, that would then set up this cliff here just to be its own entity um, and we can also detail this part as part of that episode then that connects all this part together <laughs> um, I don't know I don't know what I want to do um, I don't know what you guys want me to do um, yeah um, I think right, I've had a, a couple ideas about the, the fort I've got ideas for it now like I think I can do it but when I do it I think I might do it in multiple parts I don't know if, if when I do the fort guys do you want me to do it in multiple parts, or do you want me to do it in like one big episode, um, and it will just be a delayed episode? Obviously, it will take a little bit longer to come out, like maybe twice, three times as long to come out, but it will be like you know a bigger time lapse of the entire this bit. <laughs> so, tell me what you think about that. Um, I think I am going to do the olives next because that's going to be quite quick, and I can actually do that before this video even gets, or I can make a start on it in a minute. <laughs> and then at least I've, I've got that next. So if you guys tell me what you think I should do with this, like one episode or a couple episodes, or if you want to see some rock pools. I haven't seen rock pools in Minecraft, so if you want to see rock pools, that would be kind of different, wouldn't it? Um, and, and like this this beach. I think I'm going to do that as one episode. Um, I was also trying to think, and you guys might have another idea, because the olives idea, perfect. can't remember the guy that actually commented that, but thank you for commenting that. You're awesome. Um, I just didn't have it up on the screen. I completely forgot. This area here. Now, there's a lot of trees here, obviously. Let's just wipe them out, I think. So, 17, 18, and 85. Just because the, sometimes there is uh, stuff in them. Yep. Right. If I, like, wipe out this, because I am going to go and wipe out all of these bits and bobs anyway at some point. God damn it. See, that'll just annoy me. Um, this area here, there's qu actually quite a lot area-wise. So, what do you guys think I should do here? Because I don't really know. Um, one of my ideas was thinking, you know, like, ship... Like, where am I going to put a shipyard? Where am I going to have the uh, triremes being built? Uh, it's kind of difficult. This area is actually pretty rocky. Like, there's little islands and stuff around. So, I don't know if that's the right idea for it. Um, or not. I, I mean, it could be. You know, for sure. Um, oh my god, there's so much stuff around here, actually, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can see my floating uh, trees. Um, yeah, so I don't know what you guys think I should do with this area. So if you've got any ideas, once you can see it all... That's basically why I'm trying to fly around and do all this. That's just to, so you guys can actually see it. Right, that is almost... Done. There, now... See, this is what I mean. That'll do, though, won't it? Right, to show you guys. Right, okay, so this area here. What should I do with it? I mean, I've got a little bit around here as well. There's this entire, like, section. Um, I could do some sort of road, possibly, somehow. I don't, I don't know where the road would come from. I guess the road would have to come from around here. You know, like, if we had a road... I was thinking about this the other day. Having a road going up this way up these mountains because there's like some flat-ish bits around here. That's where the aqueduct's planning on going, but we do need to get some like sort of path up to the aqueduct. So I'm going to put something on the hill there. I don't know what it will be. Could just be another watchtower. So we'll have some sort of path that goes up here somehow. Uh, and could go all the way over this, uh, over that stream and stuff, and, and go through those that big cluster of trees and come down and actually go into this area. Um, but what do you guys think it should be? Is there any, like, good ideas that you guys have got? Uh, if so, please do comment them, because uh, I do read the comments of these episodes. It's really interesting to see what you guys think, and uh, the improvements and stuff like that. Yes, oh my god, the amount of, I've had a couple of people say about the terrain. Uh, not the terrain, the colours in the cliffs. Um, Serenity Capuchin. Um, and also another dude was actually saying to, to try and paint it. I do need to. Um, I'm just really lazy with that kind of stuff. I'm not the best at it, that's the problem. But it does look a little bit too... 
World Edit Brush. At the same time, it's an improvement. It's an improvement, but it's still to World Edit Brush, so I need to do like some layering type stuff um, and have some different colours in it and, and, and bring that out rather than this at the minute, because this just looks a little bit too... like there's just random glowy bits. So, yeah, that's what I'll do. So I, I need to get some mixes or something like that and have like three brushes and then go around and do it all. That's what I'm thinking anyway. But anyway, guys, um, that is it for um, these small little houses and like, finishing up this area and making it all nature-fied. I'm pretty happy with it, um, especially when you walk down here and it just looks really nice now. It feels a little bit more Mediterranean. It's not it's not super Mediterranean. It might be a little bit over populated with trees, but at the same time I, I I just really like this kind of nature thing. That's just kind of like my style in a in a way. It's not my style and it is my style. But, um I don't know. Anyway, that's enough to talk in. Um thank you very much for watching guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Uh if you did, comment like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.